Mister, do you know Auntie Molina's song? No, I don't. I really want to learn it. Okay, let's do it. Do you like to clap and jump? Do you like to wiggle and stomp? Do you like to hop, hop, hop? Let's praise the Lord and never stop. Do you like to stretch and play? Do you like to kneel and pray? Are you ready for the story? Come sit nice and close and listen carefully. Let's play together, friends. In the New Testament, that's the second part of the Bible, Jesus' new church started. Can you help Malinka and Mickey to find their way to the church? Use your finger to show them the way. Well done, friends. Wait, I think I can hear them talking. Let's listen to what they are saying. A bad guy who became a good guy, really? Is that even possible? Of course, everything is possible uh, with Jesus. He sees the best in us and in everyone else. I'm so glad because sometimes I do things that are really not good. Oh yes, I can't wait. Come friends, move closer. It's time for our Bible story. Let's read together. We are reading from Acts 9. Saul wanted to stop the new church, which started after Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. He believed it was wrong and that Christians weren't serving the true God. It was a big misunderstanding. He wanted to catch all the Christians and take them to court in Jerusalem. One day a bright light came from the heavens. It was so bright that it blinded Saul. He got a big fright and fell to the ground. He had no idea what was happening. Then he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? To persecute means to treat someone badly because you believe differently to them. He asked anxiously, please tell me who you are. It is me, Jesus. You are persecuting me. Get up and go to Damascus. There you will hear what you should do. Can you imagine how Saul felt? He can't see. He has just had this incredibly scary experience and he has realized that he was wrong. Jesus, who, thought, who he thought was a liar, was in fact God. He had made a big mistake. Saul was blind for three days. People had to lead him around. He didn't eat or drink anything. He was taking everything that happened very seriously. In Damascus, there was a man who knew and followed Jesus. His name was Ananias. God told him to go and talk to Saul. Ananias got a fright when God said this. He was afraid of Saul. Lord, so many people have warned me against this man. He doesn't treat God's children well. He's dangerous. Then God told Ananias, do as I ask and go to Saul. I have chosen him for a very important job. It won't be easy, but I will show him all that he will still do for me. So Ananias went to Saul and laid his hands upon him. Brother Saul, God sent me to you so you may see again and understand who Jesus is. 
all of a sudden Saul could see again. His life was changed and he was baptized. He started eating again and stayed there for a while longer. Saul's story is incredible. Saul made a big mistake. He was wrong and Jesus still forgave him. God knew Saul and that his heart was good even though he was doing things that weren't right. God knew that Saul had misunderstood. Initially, he hadn't met or known Jesus. God comes to Saul to show him who Jesus is. He saw Saul as special despite his mistakes. He wasn't angry with him, but instead helped him to understand, to change his life and to work with God. God forgave Saul. That is the message of Jesus. Think of something you've done wrong. Maybe you hit your brother or sister, or you broke something that belonged to mom or dad, or you took something that didn't belong to you, or you were rude to a friend at school. Were you scared that your mom, dad, or teacher would be angry with you and stay angry with you forever? Moms, dads, and teachers forgive us, right? God is even quicker to forgive. Every time you see the cross, remember that Jesus forgives you completely. The cross means that He forgives you. He doesn't stay mad at you. You can always go to Him, even if you've done something wrong or if you've made a mistake. He loves you very much. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so Little ones to Him belong They are weak but He is strong La 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 Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak but He is strong. La 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 Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so, the Bible tells me so, the Bible tells me so. Let's pray together. Jesus, Thank you that you always forgive us. Thank you that you always forgive us. Thank you that you always love us. Thank you that you always love us. Amen. Amen. Bye, friends. Bye.